I know that. Oh, summer, we sucking dick. We sucking dick. Taking everybody's man. We're fucking everybody that got. We in sucking it. everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Oba. Big Oba. I, 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 I said Big Oba. Not the little one. Today, I want to discuss, you know, the giraffe. And, you know, my thoughts on what should go on and what shouldn't go on. All right. So, it was revealed this past Raw. Well, this past Monday, I should say. It's a proper way to say it. Triple H revealed that we're going to have a World Heavyweight Championship back. You know, it's back and it's back in black, you know. Instead of splitting it, and it was some people felt like they should just split the, you know, titles between Roman and... But to me, honestly, nigga, a win's a motherfucking win. We about to have another world title. I don't care if they didn't split the title. Who cares? We have a world title. Another world title that's not associated with Roman. And matter of fact, Roman can have that bitch for 2,000 days. As long as we have another world title, that's all that matters to me. That's where it was for me with Roman. I don't care how long they want Roman to keep the title. Really don't. However, just give us another world title. That was my issue. And that is why people never really had an issue with Roman keeping the title for as long as he did before he combined it last year. I think was it last year? Or was it this? No, it was last year he combined it with Brock. Yeah, it was last year. He combined it last year. And that was where everybody was like, are you fucking kidding me? And then he's a part-timer. So it's like, that's just a little side rant, you know, just a little side rant. But we have a world title. Now, who sh I feel should win the title? Honestly, I feel, I feel Seth Rollins should win. Seth Rollins has been carrying the men's division for about what? 2019, 20, 21, 22, five years and been out of the world title picture. I mean, like he hasn't had to hold the world champion. So it's like, I feel he should hold the title. I feel like it should be him. I feel like rather they put him on SmackDown or Raw, that's up. I feel like he should stay on Raw. I feel like honestly, he should stay on Raw. And you know, Roman should stay on SmackDown, but you never know. They may put Roman on Raw and put him on SmackDown. Whichever division the World Heavyweight Champion is on, which I think is going to be on Raw, I feel like, honestly, I would have Seth Rollins as champion, right? And I would put the up-and-coming stars on mainly on Raw and then put, like, the veterans, the vets on SmackDown because I feel like people like LA Knight, Austin Theory, um, who else is new? Um, Johnny Gargano, granted, he's not, like, new to wrestling but he's new to you know the main roster and you know some new nxt guys you know i feel like honestly roman being champion it really blocked them from you know flourishing and seeing if they are world main card material so we really don't know so i feel like if seth rollins was champion he feuded with each and one of them because steph's gonna give you a good ass feud i'm not saying he should they, they, he should lose per se but I'm saying he should put them over, but make himself look good. That's all you got to do. So, yeah, as for Co Cody's my guy. Everybody know Cody. I stand Cody. But I feel like the story that Cody, if they made the title to just give it to Cody, that's fucked up. Because then if then I'm going to have a problem with it. If Cody is the one to be the Royal Heavyweight Champion and not finish the story with Roman, to me that's fucked up. And that's lazy booking. Because honestly... Cody should be the one to dethrone Roman. That is the only person who is built to dethrone that man. Nobody else but Cody. So don't be lazy and give Cody the World Heavyweight Champion. That's just pointless. I feel Seth Rollins should get it because Seth Rollins has been killing it and been carrying the men's division. So it's like, I feel he should do it. Okay, moving on. So the draft is tomorrow. Um, who do I think is going where? My thoughts on who should go where. I ain't gonna do the whole roster, but I'm just gonna make like 
some key points like you know the NXT call ups, um, who I feel should be the first pick. I feel honestly the first pick should be a female. Either it's gonna be Bianca or Rhea. I feel like they're gonna this year. It's gonna be the girls because it's like with Roman. It's like the last draft he was number one pick, so he ain't that damn. They shouldn't be like, oh my god, let's make Roman a pick. Like, come on, let's give it to either Bianca or Rhea. I would be fine with either one. That would be cool. And speaking of Bianca and Rhea, please do not, and I repeat this, do not switch the goddamn titles. Keep Rhea on SmackDown. Keep Bianca on goddamn Raw. Do not switch the titles, which I which I don't see them doing because they're trying to get Bianca to that 400-day reign. But don't do that. Please don't. Um, As for the tag team champions, split the Raw tag titles need to get the hell up of, you know, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, so they could just have the SmackDown titles. So let's split that shit back up, so that could be vacated, so we could have a what a tag teams tournament, you know. Um, as for call ups, um, what is it? What is it? I think their name is are they named Pretty Deadly? If if I got their name wrong, because I'm I'm not really, I don't watch NXT, but I watch NXT. I I, I watch it here and there to, to to know who's who, but. Pretty Deadly, the tag team, Pretty Deadly, like they like Pretty Boys, Pretty Deadly. I will call them up. I feel like they're ready. They're super duper ready. I feel like they bring some new flavor to the tag team division because to be honest, other than the Usos and Chad Gable and Otis, we don't have any like new fresh heel tag. Well, Judgment Day to me is a faction, but other than those three, I feel they would bring some different spice to, you know, the main roster. Um, let's see. Do I see Car Carmella? I don't see getting called up. Braun Baker, he may get called up. You know, who knows? He may be have like a little feud going on with, you know, get called up, but still continue his feud with, you know, Carmelo Hayes. So maybe he can make, um, asked for the ladies. Zoe Stark is definitely getting called up. I definitely see her getting called up. Um, Roxanne, I wouldn't call her up, but like, I wouldn't be mad if she got called up. But for me personally, I would have not called her up because I just feel like, really, I just, Roxanne, I feel really, I feel it's too soon. I feel she could have just stayed there a little bit longer, like how Carmelo Hayes. Is there a little bit long? I feel like they should do the same with Roxanne. But hey, who knows? Her career may pop off like Bianca's did. Because I, I felt like Bianca should stay in NXT a little bit longer. But her career popped off so well. So maybe, who knows? Roxanne's a talented girl. So I would say Roxanne. Um, Any other female? Cora J can stay. I just feel like Cora J, her mic skills is there. But the rest ability is not. So I feel she should stay. Tiffany, stay. Um, Nakia Alliance, I feel should get drafted because to be honest, she does not have anything in NXT to just keep her there. So I would draft her. Um, that's the only people I can really think of on the top of my head who to draft. Um, as for the NXT guys, please keep them. If you're not, if your name is not Braun Baker, please stay because I just feel. The NXT guys, I still, I just, and that roster, other than Carmelo Hayes and Brian Breaker, I feel they need to really just get their names out there. Any NXT UK guy, I, honestly, it just, I feel as, I feel, I don't know their names like that, so th th it's not even, it's not even to be me or Shady or anything like that, but I feel any NXT UK guy that was like big known, like I know like this one guy, I forgot his name, but here's a picture of him, him. I feel he should get, you know, drafted as long as Gunther is champion. Do I feel he should have thrown Gunther? I don't know because the, N the main roster and the NXT crowd are two different crowds. He may not get a crowd response if he dethrones Gunther because they don't know who he is. Like, EO Sky debuted. People did not know who EO was. People did not know who Dakota was. So we don't know with this guy. Is is it going to... But I don't... I, I don't mind. I, I know he do his thing at NXT. So who knows? Um, as for breakup, I feel if they're going to break up the Street Profits, they should break them up now. I feel they 
have run their course. I feel I'm ready to see Montez solo. I'm ready to see what Angelo Dawkins can offer as solo. I feel they need to break up, and I feel like they don't have to feud to break up. Just split one, put Angelo Dawkins on SmackDown, put Montez Ford on Raw, split them. Um, damage control. Now this is the one that we need. I feel I love damage control. However, I need EO to leave that damn group. So with that being said, keep Bailey and Dakota, you know, as damage control. However, add a new third member because damage control, I feel, is a good thing for Bailey and Dakota. And Dakota, to me, I'm sorry to any Dakota fan. I really feel Dakota is a tag team girl. I do not feel like she has to. She has what it takes to be a main champion, like a Raw or SmackDown Women's Champion. So keep her with Bailey. It didn't add a new member. I don't know who. Maybe an NXT girl. Who knows? But as for EO, I really, 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 really need EO to be by herself. Because EO got the fucking personality to just be by herself. Like, she really has a good-ass personality. And I feel Damage Control is holding her back from being, you know, the new generation of girls. Because when you think of the new generation of girls, Bianca, Raquel, Rhea... And live, they're really the new generation. But it's like EO should be up there with them. And the problem with EO is she is with Bailey and Dakota. It's like Bailey talks for her. So it's like, and EO can talk for her. So she does not need Bailey to speak for her or Dakota because she's one of those girls. She doesn't even need a manager. She does not need a EO does not need a manager. EO will give you a good segment of promo by her damn self by even speaking by just facial expression or just making weird sounds or just calling somebody a beach like eo needs to be by herself um and let's see um i kind of anybody that don't get picked i kind of see the new releases um yeah so any other oh Carmella and Bianca um Carmella needs to be on SmackDown. Carmella needs to be on SmackDown. We need a break. We need a break from them two ever facing each other ever again. We need a two year break. Carmella, go to fucking SmackDown. Um Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I'm I'm really excited for the draft. Um I hope that we get some iconic moments. Storylines after the draft, you know, I hope Bianca has some good storylines until she get the throne at SummerSlam because I really feel like that'll be the perfect time for her to get the throne is at SummerSlam, not WrestleMania because you know she got her little streak thing. SummerSlam, I, I I don't mind her losing. Um, yeah. And Rhea, let's hope she gets some competition. Roman show up to work. Uh, Seth Rollins could be the World Heavyweight Champion. So, on that note. Comment down below who you want to go on like the draft. Who do you want to go to Raw? Who do you want to go to SmackDown? Who do you feel should get called up? Who do you feel should be the next World Heavyweight Champion? All right, I'm out. Bye. Do you have anything to say to them? What do, you mean, do I have anything to say? Oh, pussy does not ever stink. Oh, my God. Well, now, it don't. I mean.